Hello everybody and welcome to Miranda Detailing. In today's video, we're going to be detailing the interior and exterior of this Honda Accord. Now, as we look at the exterior paint, it's in great shape, but the wheels can certainly need some attention. The interior also needs some deep cleaning and carpet cleaning. There's lots of dirt, dog hair, and particles embedded in this low nap carpet. The leather is also needing some deep cleaning and conditioning. The seams need to be purged of all dirt and particles. The dash, center console, and vents also need lots of dusting and brushwork. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram for more content. Now you may see this and say to yourself, this is not a disaster detail. And you're correct, it's not. Honestly, I turn many of those down. Why? Because they are way too much work and often they don't turn out that great. Trust me, you don't want a disaster detail. If you want to be a YouTube sensation, then go for it. Or if you're watching simply for the ASMR factor, well, you may want to skip. We make these videos for other detailers who want to learn. So if you're interested in tips, techniques, and advice on all things detailing, then subscribe and click that bell. That way you don't miss stuff. As usual, we start with the exterior. We open the hood and clean out the top surface of the engine bay. And the windshield cowl area will hold tons of junk, like leaves. Now we work around the vehicle pre-rinsing with a degreaser. We also degrease the door jams, trunk lid, wheels, tires, and wheel wells, and then blast them out with the pressure washer. Doing an APC rinse is really important. It starts the cleaning process, removing the grime and traffic film, making the wash process easier and safer. After everything is thoroughly rinsed and degreased, we foam the vehicle down. Now, we don't use a high pH soap. The foaming process is strictly for applying the soap onto the vehicle quickly. It also adds tons of cushion and lubrication to the wash process. We also use either a clay mitt or a towel to mechanically decon the paint. Don't worry, at this point the majority of grit or dirt particles are removed from the paint. All that is left is a thin film of grime that is easily removed with the mitt and caught away in the soap. The clay mitt can now slide over the paint and remove the bonded grit without causing excessive marring. If you want to skip this part until after the vehicle is washed and rinsed, it's up to you. But clay bars, mitts, or towels are going to mar the paint to a minor degree no matter what. I have tried it multiple ways and this is easier and faster. Would I do this to perfectly polished paint? Of course not. These are daily drivers and they're swirled up anyway. So if you plan on making some goofy uneducated comment on how this is ruining the paint, go ahead. But remember, we're actually helping detailers here who run a business, not enthusiasts who do this on the side only to spend 12 plus hours on a wash and wax. As we move on to the wheels, we use our Marilex foamer to plaster the wheels and tires with degreaser. The degreaser of choice is super clean, diluted 4 to 1. If the wheels or spokes are wide enough, we like to use an old wash mitt to reach far into the barrels and those spokes to really deep clean them. Also degrease, foam down, and scrub the rubber mats. After everything is washed and rinsed, we're going to apply 303 and touchless ideas. sealant. It's super easy to use and produces some awesome results. When using this touchless spray-on sealant, make sure that it's applied evenly throughout the panels. Let it sit for a few seconds, then rinse. Pay attention to any spots that may have been missed. Go back and mist those areas again and rinse. Don't distrust the product to bond anywhere. Make sure it's on the paint and actually sticking. You will see it bead and sheet water away quickly. That's how you know it's bonded. So 
Same goes with the wheels. Spray and then wait a few seconds and rinse off. It leaves the wheels beating, making them easier to dry and clean next time. The beading is pretty impressive. This really quickens up the drawing process. Now after the paint is dried, we use our blower to blow dry the engine compartment and dress all the plastic areas with 303 aerospace protectant. Same goes with the trunk lid and gas cap area. We also blow dry the exterior honeycomb plastic bits and use Stoner's trim shine to dress them up. Don't worry about the overspray, it wipes right off. Now let's start the interior work. We start with dusting and wiping down all surfaces from top to bottom, using our brushes, APC or all-purpose cleaners and towels. The air compressor is also an important part to detailing. It really helps purge any cracks and seams of any trapped dirt and particles. It also helps dry any areas that we use our APC and brushes to agitate. We next move on to the carpets. Now these carpets didn't have a lot of drink spills and they really cleaned up well, so a mist of APC and some heavy steaming is all that is needed. Remember that extracting for the sake of extracting is not only pointless, but it also oversaturates the fabric or carpets, increasing the dry time. Only extract if absolutely necessary. We don't make these videos so people can enjoy the ASMR of extracting, so don't expect it. The leather was also in great shape, but we make sure to vacuum the stitch seams very well and release that trapped dirt that will grind away at those stitches over time. A little steam also loosens those dirt particles so we can purge the seams with the air compressor and vacuum.
We love using the Meguiar's dedicated leather cleaner so it doesn't dry out the leather or plastics. We use a boar hair brush to clean and agitate the leather. Using a little steam also boosts the cleaning power of any cleaner. Now the seats will be clean, dry, and ready to condition. The back seats of this Accord are so small, I couldn't stuff myself back there so as to vacuum. So at least my long arms can reach everything along with the long vacuum nozzles. Now getting back to the window dash was difficult. I had no choice at this time but to stuff myself back there and reach into the rear window to clean it properly. It's a good thing it was plastic and not carpeted. I hate rear window carpeting. The steamer really helps blast out and clean under the seats in between the center console. Cleaning these perforations in the leather seats are annoying. You may have your own method of cleaning them, but we picked up a few tips from our fellow detailers at Absolute Valetic. Use the tip of the long vacuum nozzle to tap quickly at the trap particles. They eventually loosen and release. Then the vacuum sucks them up. It's not a science, but it works 95% of the time. Thanks, guys. To finish up the exterior, we dress the tires with some longevity from Extreme Solutions. It's a great water-based tire dressing. We use it neat on the tires. We also use some bead maker to gloss up the wheels and remove any smudges or smears. This really makes them pop. Don't forget to show those exhaust pipes some love. A little AM metal polish and super fine steel wool shines them right up. Now enjoy the afters. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it and share with others who may enjoy it or benefit from it. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell, that way you don't miss stuff. Have a great week and we'll see you next time. Take care.